Well, hello from Bluestone. Hi. In today's little adventure, we're checking out the buggies and then we're going to do the tour of the resort itself. Are you ready, Mel? I'm ready. Let's go. Never mind Teslas, <laughs> these are the vehicles to buy. So, this is our buggy for the week Rhiannon. And there's Mel. So let's have a quick look. Are they fast, Mel? When you're driving. <laughs> so the controls, you get a code, you press the red button, put in the code, press the red button and you're off. And there's plenty of charging stations around. What does the F, the N and the R mean? Well, surprisingly, Mel, that stands for forward, neutral and reverse. And you've got lights as well and a little horn for your foot and there's the charging port just under the driver's seat this is like top gear mel is it yeah so mel how many people can ride in the buggy four adults and two infants oh, there we mm. are. and remember clank click every trip are you allowed to say that now can't do that anymore okay <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. Buckle up and be safe. And be safe. It was busy today, isn't it? Right next door to the main car park, you'll find the, the buggy rental. And if you want one, make sure you do reserve one because the time we're here, they're all sold out. So there's no chance of hiring one during the visit. Well, Mel, what would you advise people about renting a buggy? Is it worth it? I think it is worth it, um, especially if you've got young kids or elderly relatives or people with mobility issues because it's a bit of a long walk and it's uphill. Yeah, especially if you're staying at the bottom. Yeah, if you're staying at the bottom near, near the, the lake. Near the lake. It's, you know, it's nearly a mile from there uphill to the Blue Lagoon swimming pool and yeah. the Serendome kids play area. Yeah, I mean, um, we've... And no, it's not cheap. we stayed a number of times and never had a buggy. Yeah. But this time we have and... I love it. it it's been worth it. I'm going to keep mine. And it's it's worth it. it to keep your husband happy. <laughs> if he likes driving little things, beep, 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 definitely get one. Anyway, let's continue with the tour. So we're leaving the buggy park. And where are we going then, Marcus? Up to the furthest point, the Blue Lagoon, which is at the top of the hill. So this pathway here is just about big enough for two buggies to get down at the same time past it, but don't go too yeah, fast. When you first visit, <laughs> you think you're not allowed to drive down here, you've gone the wrong way, but you are. So we're in full speed, full warp speed, aren't we? And it is, I would say, how fast would you say it is? Um, about six miles an hour, I think, uphill. Six <laughs> miles an hour. So that's the Blue Lagoon with the slides. So this is the top of the park, isn't it? Yes. It's the Blue yes. Lagoon the water, water park. park. Yeah. <laughs> slides, very kiddie orientated. Yeah, we're not going to go in too many kids. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the Serendome next? Yes, I think so. Mm. <laughs> These are good fun. <laughs> so next stop is not far away from the Blue Lagoon is the Serendome like a kids play area and they've got a theatre and the places you can get snacks and drinks. Most important thing? Drinks. It's got a bar. Oh yeah, got a bar as well. It's only up until six. Mm -hmm. 
now it's Mel's turn to drive. So fingers crossed. And there's a buggy coming towards us. Put your foot down, step on it. Let's go and take a look at the steep ravine. Right. Now we're going off road. Oh. Yes. So that's the steep ravine with Camp Smokey and stuff for kids, also walks, but back in the buggy for us. Sun's out. Yes. Are we going to be cruising the strip in the golf buggy? I think so. Reversing is a bit noisy, isn't it? <laughs> Get that foot down. The speed limit is 10 miles an hour. <laughs> we'll be lucky to go that fast. <coughs> so now we're going down the hill to the village. Look where you're going, Mrs. Look in. <laughs> the other one doesn't. The other one drives a well-hand. It's a different lodges around here. It's like down one. Daviv. Anyone first name terms with the buggies? We haven't mentioned that, have we? They've all got names. They've all got Welsh names. Except for Brenda. Yeah, they've all got like <laughs> David, Rhiannon, Gwynedd, Blodwyn and Is Brenda. Is that a Welsh name? I don't know. I didn't think it was particularly Welsh. No, I don't think so. Is there a marker? No. That was broken down and it's been scrapped. Wouldn't start. charging time. There's no on and off switch. You simply go and that's it. Let's go and see the village. Okay so over here you have tea and coffee, the coffee shop. What do they sell there? A cappuccinos, croissants in the morning and a cake or two. And then you've got the Knights Tavern behind the pub. At the moment they've got outdoor space there to eat outdoors, but soon you'll be able to eat indoors again. And over there is the village store where you can pick up milk, bread, little supermarket. Like um, and there's guest services over there where you can book any activities. And this over here is the, what's it called? The Farmhouse Grill. The Farmhouse Grill, where you can have a burger, ribs, uh, food like that. A little pub in there as well. A little bar area. Very well put, Melissa. Oh, thank you very much. Very well put. Hey, thank you. Should we go around the lake and back in the buggy? Yes, I think so. And when you've had enough of your kids, you can sneak off to the Wells Bar Retreat for mind, body and soul and all that. Give us a wave. Thank you.
So that was our little buggy tour of Bluestone. I hope you enjoyed. Yep. And now we're back at the lodge. Number one night's rest. So until next time, that's a bye from me. And a bye from me. Goodbye. Bye.